what is up? Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to sit down and film a super spontaneous Q&A today. Very spontaneous and I just love Q&A so much because I think there's always something you can ask someone, you know? So figure we'd sit down, chill, hang out for a little bit. I have to leave for work pretty soon, but I'm all ready for work. Obviously, as you guys can tell, um, I got this new shirt from Marshalls yesterday. I just love Marshalls so much, so that's why i'm kind of all ready i don't like get glammed up for work every day but i do usually just do like a bb cream a mascara and a little highlight because i think a little highlight goes a long way but i asked you guys on my instagram to ask me questions um and i have not looked at any of these yet and i figured we would literally just go ahead and ask them if any of these are repetitions from the last q a so sorry but i just really want to do it someone said do you plan on showing Oli this summer i think i've covered this before but i guess i'll cover it again um i hope to but the way i see it is i kind of get like on a tangent about this i think like when you're younger you just like really really want to show really badly and you don't even care how bad it goes and like i definitely had that mind frame with salem and with Oli that like you know schooling shows are meant for you to like you know just get experience and get no no whining schooling shows are meant for you to like get experience and all that stuff and so obviously you don't need to be like 100 ready to go to schooling shows and stuff obviously i don't see us going to any big shows anytime soon soon i don't see us going to any big time shows anytime soon but i would love to maybe next year i know i always say that but money just seems to always like kind of never work when you want it to um so I definitely see myself doing a schooling show or two towards the end of the year, but I really, really, really want to take the summer and this time to really crack down on his fitness and his muscle and get him really back into shape. Obviously, I kind of want to go more of a hunter jumper route, I think. I, I still love dressage, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think I see myself showing towards the end of the summer when we're more ready. I just don't. I'm kind of like seeing from like an adult point of view now that like I don't want to throw my money into showing even if it's a schooling show if we're like 60% ready. Like I'd rather wait till we're like 80% ready because um, no one's ever 100% ready. But you know what I mean? Does that make sense? If it makes sense to you guys. I just don't. I kind of want to take more of like an adult approach to it that I only want to put my money into it when we're really, really ready. And I think that'll be more towards the end of the summer. My work schedule is all over the place right now, too. I'm working a bunch of evenings and weekends, but it might shift to days and no weekends soon. And I don't really know when it's been up in the air for most of the summer so far. So I can't really make any show plans yet because I just don't really know what my schedule is going to be like. Um, but for now, I would love to do a schooling show towards the end of the summer. But I just don't think we're ready right now. And I'm not going to go and do a show if we're not ready like I used to. Maturing. The next one is do you plan on continuing to train dressage with Oli? I do, but I also want to get back into jumping as well. I do need to get a new close contact that's going to fit him, so we might stick to dressage for a little bit, but I would love to event him actually. I think I've said this before, but I would love to event him. I think um, he has the guts for it and I trust him a lot and I think that'd be really, really fun. But yes, I do plan on continuing to train dressage. I would love to show like first level, but I definitely do want to start dabbling back into jumping as well. Did you ever want to pursue a career with horses? Um, I think when I was younger, I did. When I was like, between like 14 and 17, I'd say. I worked at a large animal vet clinic and I really wanted to become a vet. But a lot of the vets in my area, you know, um, obviously they were like, you know, do what you want to do. But it is really hard to get into vet school. And some say it's actually harder to get into vet school than med school in Ontario. Because there's only one veterinary college and you can only apply to veterinary college in your province. That's how it works in Canada. So, um... I only had one school to choose from whereas like med school or nursing or PA or whatever I end up doing I have obviously like multiple options so it's very very hard um I did I never considered a job as a trainer or owning a barn or anything it's just not what I want to do I respect the hell out of anyone who does it um but I, I don't think I would ever even want to have my horses on my property it's just not something I I see myself doing um but I respect everyone that does because it's a lot of work um but yeah I just I never even considered getting my certification in teaching it just never was something I was really really interested in um a goal you'd like to achieve as a rider and a goal you'd like only to achieve this year that's such a fun question um me I just want to get more confident in the saddle um I had a meeting with my doctor a few months ago and we kind of sat down and talked about all of my head injuries and my concussions and that it's getting a little not a lot it's just it's getting a tiny bit on the risky side with riding and I just really do need to be careful on the horses I choose to get on and I'm not someone who gets on um spooky horses or dangerous horses or anything like I, I really do stick to Oli and Salem um 
but I just need to keep it in the back of my head to be safe and don't do anything stupid. Um, obviously, I'm an adult now. Like, I think when I was a kid, obviously, I need to hear that. But, um, and to not, like, really get on any hot horses. Um, I just really need to protect my melon, as some would say. Um, and with that and having the winter off, I've definitely lost a lot of my confidence in riding. Um, and I kind of, like, go into it with fear. And I really just want to work on my self-confidence. Um, personally, as for Oli, I would love for him to get into fitness where he could get through a first-level test. Um, kind of work on his canter a little bit, his, um, extended trot, and then him being in fitness shape to canter around a course. That's, like, one of my big goals for him, because he's a chunky monkey right now. Next one is, uh, do you own or lease? Um, I guess for new viewers, um, I own Salem and I full lease Oli. Um, Salem is at my coach's barn, and he is used in a lesson program, and Oli, I basically full lease him. Um, yeah, that's the quick answer to that. Have you ever thought about doing R plus with Oli? Oh, is that like pause and reinforcement? I would love to look into it. I just honestly haven't had the time. I know Jill Treese, um, Jet Equine or whatever her name is now. Um, she does that. I would love to look into it, but I'm not someone who is, why are you eating my underwear? Get a puppy, they said it's so fun. Um, oh my God, Gunner, those are my underwear. Oh my God, look what she just did to my underwear, guys. Okay, well, you can have them now. Um, but I definitely would look into it. I think it's one of those things where you really have to research a lot about it. But I definitely am willing and open to looking into it. Um, but I just don't, I don't know that much about it yet. Um, how are you doing lately? So happy to see you riding again. Thank you. It's, it's been crazy. I didn't even get out to the barn all this week because it's auto race weekend. And I just was like, this would be a bad weekend. Anyways, um, I'm doing good overall. I just think this is the sweetest question ever. Like, just how are you doing? I just love a good how are you doing. Um, I'm doing really, really good. Um, I'm in a really good spot in life right now. Um, I'm very happy. I'm happy with my job. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with my friends. I'm happy to be getting back out to the barn. I'm in a good place in my, like, fitness journey. Um, yeah, life, life's really, really good right now. I don't have anything to complain about. Um, my like seasonal blues have gone away, so I'm very, very happy. My anxiety's been at like an all-time low lately, probably because I don't have shitty men in my life. But um, yeah, everything is really, really good right now. Thanks for asking. That's like the sweetest thing ever. Oh, it makes my heart so happy. Um, uh, will you share your relationship on YouTube? Okay, I don't know if this person was asking us thinking I have a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. I said this in so many videos, but I actually love how much like you guys care about my love life. Um, I think I would. I'm not like too sure how much. Um, this is actually like a subject I really wanted to like touch on randomly, but I think I would definitely share my relationship, but I don't know how much of it I would share on the internet. Um, but we'd have to see obviously if the person is okay with it or not. But as of right now, I'm single. I'm very, very single. Um, I, oh, I never even uploaded it. I vlogged a few weeks ago that I was going on a date because Tara Michelle was doing that and I thought it was so fun to like just look back on. I didn't end up ever uploading it. I think I deleted it, but I did go on a date a few weeks ago and it, it went well, the date itself. The second date, mm, but you live and you learn. That's all I gotta say. Um, but I think my next relationship, I actually wanna keep a lot more private and I'm not in any way trying to like condone like keeping your relationship private i don't think there's anything wrong with like posting your relationship on social media or keeping it private i respect both people um but i don't know i just think there's something about like keeping your relationship for your this is totally personal too like i'm not saying anyone who posts a relationship online is wrong but i just think my last two relationships i've been like super keen on like posting on social media making my relationship look perfect and i really do admire the people that like like just post a picture on their anniversary or stuff like that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with showing off the person you love. Nothing wrong with that at all. I'm not saying I wouldn't do that, but I definitely want to keep my relationship a lot more private. Um, I think that just comes with getting older too, but I definitely want to keep my relationship a lot more private. If they want to be in videos, they can be in videos. And if they don't, they don't. And yeah, I just, I want to keep my relationship just a bit more private. My next one, whenever the heck that is. Um, any big projects coming up? Uh, yeah, actually, so I have a few big ones and I haven't actually announced it even though I've had the channel for a month. I actually made a Disney, um, or like more of like a travel Disney YouTube if you guys are interested. I just love filming at Disney and I loved those travel vlogs and a lot of you guys did love it too, but just not like everyone did and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. So I actually made a second uh, YouTube. I'll link it down below. It's Carter and the Castle if you guys want to go look it up and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. 
but yeah that was a big project with that I also made a Instagram which I'll put right here um just because I have so many pictures that I want to share and Disney is such a big part of my life and you know some people think it's silly and I don't really care what you have to say because it makes me happy and there's just like such a big world of Disney people and so yeah I ended up making a YouTube account which is really great I don't have anything to post right now because I've been back to Disney but that's where all of my travel vlogs will go so if any of you guys were the ones that were loved watching the Disney vlogs the daily vlogs when I was there definitely make sure to go and subscribe I would love it so much and I would appreciate it and it would mean the world to me um and in terms of any other big projects um yeah I really want to start a podcast let me know what you guys think down below if I should do that but I really want to start a podcast because I'm a super rambly person and you guys know that and I just think it would be so fun call it like Carter's coffee talk or like chatty coffee time with Carter I don't know what I would call it yet but I really want to start a podcast so I'm starting to look into that and microphones and like how to get your podcast approved on like Spotify or come on up you are a crank. Oh my god. My dog just really wanted to sit down. Um, I'm looking into the process of getting a microphone and getting my podcast like approved on Spotify and iTunes and like all those things. It's definitely a process, but I think it would be a fun summer project and I don't know. But let me know down below if, blah, blah, blah. let me know down below if you guys listen to podcasts, because I do. I love listening to podcasts like on the way to work and stuff. And I just think I'm such a chatty person. Like my favorite videos are videos like this where I just get to like sit down and chat with you guys. And if I could film like weekly life updates and just sit and chat for 40 minutes i totally would love to do that so let me know what you guys think down below but yeah those are like my two bigger projects that are coming um i wish i was a big enough youtuber to say that like i have secret projects coming but i really don't um this one might be too personal but did you save up to buy your car or finance it oh my god i wish i could have bought my car no i financed it i do have a 2018 though so i don't really have like thirty thousand dollars sitting around i think that's how much my car was 28 something um i did finance my car it was a very enjoyable process for me i didn't have any issues with it i know some people have a really hard time car shopping but mine was super easy i went into my dealership we are pretty close like family friends with a lot of people in our dealership just because my dad has so many trucks with them um because of his landscaping company and all of our family cars are with them so i know people at the dealership pretty well and i actually ended up buying my car with a guy i went to high school with um and it was a really, really easy, simple process. If you guys live in Ottawa, shout out to Jim K. Ford. Go buy a car from them. They're great people. Um, but I had a really good, um, but I did finance it. Obviously, I don't have $30,000 sitting around, um, unfortunately. Um, but I mean, I know a lot of friends that have older cars and just bought them like straight out for cash, like $5,000. Um, but I did finance my car. It's not anything too personal. I love talking about money with you guys. Um, so I have a 2018. I financed it over... Four or five years i'm not sure i could do the math but it's not gonna work right now and i pay 220 bi-weekly which might seem like a lot of money but i do work full time um but yeah but 2018 ford focus she's my baby felicia love her um but yeah i financed my car um someone said you haven't done a bit you haven't done a budget video in so long are there any more coming love them i'm so glad you like them i love filming them for you guys um yes there is i've had to tweak my budget a lot because i've had some changes like my car insurance went up and stuff and i'm just playing around with a new budget system um but i'm definitely gonna film a new one soon um i love that you guys love them i love making them for you guys um but yes there'll be a new one soon uh, just like there's been so much work and traveling and stuff and first world problems i know but i just haven't got to sit down and film um one yet but they are coming don't you worry I love that you guys asked me the most random questions ever. It like makes my day. Someone said go to a Starbucks order. Um, I've been trying to cut down and I love making cold brew at home. But my go to Starbucks order is a, gr a grindy cold foam cold brew. Which is just cold brew with a little bit of they whip up like non-fat milk with like a pump of classic syrup I think. And they put it on top and it like gets all like foamy and delicious and oh it's so good. Um, and it's like 30 cals because I count my macros. So love that i'm not into the sugary coffee anymore unless it's like a special occasion like a cheat day or something um but yeah that's my go-to order or sometimes i'll just get a grande iced coffee with a splash of half and half and a pump of sugar free vanilla but that's like and then my go-to at home is just like cold brew with some um, oat milk very delicious vanilla oat milk so so good 
um, any upcoming races. Um, yeah, so this weekend is when I'm filming this. It is May 24th, and I will be doing the Ottawa Race Weekend. I'm doing the 5K with my best friend Emma, as well as the half marathon on Sunday, which is my first solo half marathon. I'm also vlogging the whole weekend, so you guys get a behind the scenes on how I prep for my half. So stay tuned for that video, because it'll probably be coming out after this one. Um, other than that, I'm running the Lululemon 10K in Toronto on June 15th. We're there for like 36 hours. It's a very quick trip, Brooke and I. Um, I haven't signed up for any throughout the summer just because like I said my schedule's been up in the air because we have had a few girl like we had a girl quit and we're in a hiring freeze and all that stuff so my schedule's a bit all over the place um so I don't haven't signed up for any yet I would love to get another half marathon in before the summer is done but other than that I have um for Disney races I have wine and dine in November we're just doing the half marathon um January 2020 I'm all signed up for my first full marathon which is so exciting um and then we are not doing princess weekend i i might do it though we'll see um and then we are signed up for the star wars um, race weekend in april which star wars is not really my cup of tea but i'm gonna do it anyways and we're doing the challenge for so the 10k and the half but so that was all my races so far um and i think my full marathon training starts in a few weeks so i'm very very excited about that um have you been on any dates since you last updated us and how did they go um i get this question a lot i love that you guys are doing my dating life um like i said yes i did go on a date a few weeks ago i vlogged the whole like day before day of um didn't upload it and ended up deleting it but the date went well i think i just need to start going out on more first dates because they give me a lot of anxiety um i think they give regular people anxiety and then people with anxiety get like major anxiety like i literally puked on the way to my date that's how nervous i was my anxiety was at like a all-time high couldn't find my pills anywhere it was a mess but it went well um it was with a guy i already knew though so like that kind of helped i guess it wasn't like a complete stranger um it didn't work out but that's totally fine like i don't expect every Obviously, every date can't work out, but we're still friends. We're still in the same friend group. Yeah, it just didn't work out, but that's okay. Um, I'll definitely update you guys if I have any more dates. Don't know. Um, yeah, that's that's all on that matter. <laughs> um, will you ever get back into consistent lessons? I do plan on it. Money is a tight thing right now. I obviously have a lot of payments. That's what comes with being an adult. Um, but my friend Lindsay, shout out to you if you're watching this. Um, she said she would come out and help us um, with, you know, whatnot because she does teach. So that's really sweet of her. And I'm really, really excited about that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to film kind of like a small q and I know it was probably a little bit on the quicker side and not as juicy as um, some of the other Q&As. So I apologize for that. But I just want to sit down spontaneously, film a Q&A for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Comment down below, like I said, if you guys want me to start a podcast. And let me know if you guys subscribe to my Disney, my Disney YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it if you did. And subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Live!